Hey there, TRW Crew, Matt Vassalo here with TheRhinestoneWorld.com. So in this video, we are going to show you how to bling a laptop with our Bling Anything sheets. So these are our Rhinestone Bling Anything sheets that we have available on the website at TheRhinestoneWorld.com. And they do have an adhesive on the back. We make them all in-house here at The Rhinestone World. And I'm going to go through the entire process of blinging a laptop right here so we have our laptop that we use at all the shows so if you're coming to one of the shows check out this laptop at the show you'll be able to say hey I saw you when you made that laptop right there with the bling anything sheet so I'm gonna walk you through this process exactly how to do it how easy it is to do it and how easy it is for you to actually do your own laptop your TV like we did right here we've done a heat press we've done a bike we've done rims on a car so bling anything it actually is bling anything so check this video out we're going to show you exactly how to do it right here let's go over to the laptop and show you how this process is done all right so we're over here at our laptop and this is one of our 8x10 crystal ab bling anything sheets so over 5600 stones on each of these sheets that we have available on the website depending on the color the prices vary um, whether it's a regular Korean low lead or a machine cut. So prices can vary anywhere from 30 to $45 per sheet, but you'll see that we'll use probably about one and a half sheets, depending on how much of this laptop that we do here. And you're gonna have a fully rhinestone laptop that nobody else around you has, unless they have unless they obviously know about the rhinestone world and have watched this video as well. So what I'm gonna do, it's very simple. We make all of these with our machines in house. So all of the stones, as you can see, are very, close together so what that allows you to do is all the supplies you're going to need in this video pair of scissors so pair of scissors all we're going to do is measure it out once we know exactly where we need to cut it at we'll just cut directly down the line go ahead and apply it with the adhesive and move on to the next one so first thing i'm going to do is when you get the bling anything sheets in the mail they're going to be trimmed close but not all the way to the edge so i want to show you the entire process so as you can see i'm just trimming a real just a small sliver of the bling anything material off i'm getting right up against the stone so i'm actually letting the stones guide my scissors here so i just want to get it real tight and the reason why you want to get it real tight like this is when you're doing and you have your seam in the middle you want to make sure that you can barely see that seam so it looks like it all flows together okay so i got all trimmed around the edge there now my first step here is i'm going to see how many stones i need here so i'm going to go from there, I'm going to come all the way up to the front here. So I'm going to go from that back spot to right here. So I know I marked my spot right here. Grab my pair of scissors and start cutting right there. So I got my spot. Very easy. Anybody can cut a perfect straight line with it because the stones guide your scissors. So I know, okay, that's perfect there. Let's go ahead and now a couple different things. You can trim the edges here afterwards or you can trim them right here before. I can see that I'm probably going to have to trim about one stone off the edge. So I'm just going to go trim off the edge that stone there and trim off the edge that stone there. So I can see now you can see it's rounding with our computer a little bit there. Now we're going to get our adhesive expose the adhesive of the bling anything material off the back here so just got to have a, a nail there to get into it and i got that there so i'm going to pull this off now just be careful when you're applying this because it is a pretty strong adhesive so once you get it on there it's going to be pretty much on there for good so i'm going to go edge to edge right there try and keep that as straight as i can looking perfect there man i am getting good at this all right so there's probably i mean you can see what we have left that's probably about four thousand stones we just applied right there that easy so about four thousand stones on this laptop already where you'll see videos over here on youtube where you'll see individuals that are manually placing every single stone that's what's so awesome about the bling anything sheets that we invented is you can actually put 4,000 stones down at the same time and they look perfect like this. All right, 
So we got our sh second sheet here. We can see right here that that's not going to fit perfect there because we're going to have some extra. We don't, don't want as many seams. So what we're actually going to do, grab our second sheet here, just like we did with the first. We want to trim the edges. When we send them to you in the mail, we don't want to get them too close to the edge. We want to have a little bit of the material off the edge. Just during the shipping process, we don't want it to get nicked up on the sides or anything. We want that little bit of an edge of the bling, anything material, to be able to protect it during shipping. But, again, trimming all the way as close as we can along the edge there. And I got a little bit that I missed there. I want to get that and then come over to this side you can hear the actual stones how i'm hitting the edge of the stones just to make sure it's all the way up against those stones all right perfect so let's get our scraps out of the way there now we are ready for the second round of this so again they, all the sheets are the same, so the stones will always line up the same. So I know from here to here, I need to cut this one across right here. So let's cut that across there. Perfect. Now I got that lined up perfect. I need to come over here to the side and say, okay, I need to go right to here. So I got that marked with my finger there and Let's go ahead and cut there. And we are looking good to go now. Same as the other one, we're gonna cut edge there for the corner, edge there. You can see I'm just cutting one actual stone off the edge there. Looking beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can line this up perfect here. Expose the adhesive here and I'm going to come to the edge a little bit easier to line it up the second time because you can line up the, the actual stones here so I know that I can go stone to stone all the way up to the top and man I thought I was getting pretty good at this but I am getting perfect at this because I cannot even see a seam there. You can see when you look at this, when you look at that straight on there, let's see. See that? That is looking sweet right there. So we got the entire back of our laptop done with this much left over. So we used, let's see, about a sheet and a quarter would be my guess. So I would say we're at the, right around 7,000 to 8,000 stones on our laptop here. Well, now what we can do, laptop looks awesome, but we can take it to the next, next step if we want to. And when we open up this laptop, look what else we can do. We could, if we wanted to, bling out the outside part here, like right around the mouse everything up across the top you could bling the screen across the top here so let's see i say we i say we give it a try during this video just to show you all of your options with the bling anything material so i can see that that dips down a little bit there so i'm going to cut this right here perfect let's trim that up now you can see this is going to the edge here, so I'm going to go here to right here, and right there is perfect. And I'm going to trim my one stone off the edge to round with the computer there. Looking good. All right, let's go ahead. Now, when I'm when I'm placing this down, I'm not going to work from the inside to the outside. I want to work from the outside to the inside because I want it to be able to line up perfect with my side right here. So what I'm going to do is go right into this corner right here all the way to the edge and lay that down right there and 
that is looking perfect now I can see this spot right here see this spot along the bottom a couple things I could do here I could easily get looks like two rows of stones in there and it's gonna cover up a couple of my lights my um, battery light and my charge light and my Wi-Fi light and everything but honestly the cool thing is is you're gonna be able to see those lights through the small little openings that you have in the material anyway so I'm gonna give it a try and try and bling those out because I can see when I'm working with my laptop and if I'm using the mouse here those aren't gonna affect me anyway so I say we go ahead and give it a try to see if that's something that's going to work. There's only one way to ever find out, and we'll be your test dummies to see if this, this is something that's pretty cool and it's going to work for you. So just trimming my two rows across. Going to come to right here and trim that baby up. Let's go ahead and expose the adhesive here again it's just like a sticker now that the way that we made it let's get this lined up with those stones right along the edge here that's looking beautiful that's looking beautiful I would say this is actually gonna look pretty sweet like this so we're good there now we got to look, okay, from this edge, oh man, that is just going to fit absolutely perfect. Jeez, I think this computer is made for bling anything sheets because I'm not even going to have to trim but one stone right here, right off the edge. Trim that off the edge. Let's expose. Now what I would probably do, these aren't stickers that you definitely need on here. I'm going to pull these stickers off because, again, it is a clear adhesive, so it's going to show through a little bit. So if you have a bright blue sticker under there, something like that, you're actually going to be able to see it a little bit, where you can even see on the top. I don't mind it, just because we know that this is an Asus computer. So you can see that logo a little bit, but that's engraved in there. It's not a sticker that we can just pull off, where these couple are actual stickers here. That we can just take them off the computer right here so let's go ahead and expose our adhesive here and stone edge to edge right up the side perfect all right so that is looking sweet. How much do we actually want to do here? You know what? I want to use up my full two sheets. So let's say we have $60 in sheets here at $30, right around $30, $35 each, $65, maybe $70. Well, this is looking pretty sweet right here. I want to go all the way up around the edge, see if we can finish this whole computer right here in just two sheets. So I am going to use this skinny one here. And I know that I got one, two, three, four rows up to right here. Let's come up and trim that baby. And again, I said four rows. One, two, three, four. Trim that down. Come over here. Perfect. Perfect. Beautiful. And the exact same one that fit, which one was it? It was right here. So that same one should fit over here the way that we're working it. And of course it does. So we're gonna go four rows again. Four rows of stones. Cut right down the middle. And come over here to this edge. Line them up stone for stone perfectly. Right up along the edge right here. Looking beautiful. And again, I'm looking on here. I can't even see the seams again. So awesome the way that it is that it's completed, how close the stones are together to be able to give you this option to make it not even see the seams, make it look like almost the computer was built like this with the rhinestones on it. So now we got to get a little bit creative here. And I'm not sure if you can see where I'm talking about. See the edge right here? Well, this is where our computer is going to be closing. So we got some opening in the edges here. And I'm going to bring it up close here to show you. See that? Well, with the Bling Anything sheets, I'm 
going to say we probably have a solution for that. So first thing I want to do is see how many rows I need to get to the top here. So I'm going to go to right here and let's trim that first. So first thing I always want to get is my width, height and width to know my, and then what I can do is from there, now that I have this done, I can say, okay, that's going to fit perfectly across there. Now what I want to do is I want to trim my edges here for this part where the actual computer closes. So first thing I want to do, trim the one stone off the edge here. And that is going to allow me to get that edge where it rounds across the computer. So we'll get that first. And while I have this cut, I can see that I have to do this part as well. And I have a power, um, power um, actual button over here that I need to get around. So we're going to work through all of that. You are getting the full application process to where if you wanted to basically go crazy and have a computer almost as cool as TRW. Cut along the edge here. Looking perfect. So we know this one's good. I cut this one just so I didn't have to remeasure it later. Just saving a little time in the long run. Now right here what I want to do is I want to see, okay, one, two, I can fit three stones. The opening is right at about three stones and then it's going to go about one, two, three, four stones down. So I'm going to go three stones in and four stones down. One, two, three stones in and four stones down. And then you're going to see it coming off like this a little bit. And I want to go one, two, three, four stones down. So see, I just cut that little square out of there. Well, watch what's probably going to happen. Oh my goodness. It fit perfect there. Go ahead and expose our adhesive here. And line it up perfect right along the edge and I am good and the awesome part about it is with this video and seeing how the process is done every single one of you watching this video is going to be able to do the exact same thing I'm doing here because I'm showing you step by step exactly how to do it so I just applied that and look how awesome that is again looks like it was made for this computer so when we go and we close this it's going to close perfect and open back up and all the stones are still there perfect all right now we're gonna have to get a little creative over here on the edge and what i actually want to do is i'm going to bring the camera down a little closer so you can see this all right, so now we're in close to our computer here and I'm gonna show you how to do this edge here. So again, we pre-cut this a little bit earlier just to make sure that we had the exact same amount of rows so we didn't have to remeasure it. We're gonna go from here to here and see where our edge is. So our edge is right here. So I'm gonna to go to here and let's go ahead and cut that. So we're looking good there. Again, like always with the computer, we're going to trim one off the top there. And you never know with computers if they're going to be the exact same size. And looking at this one, it looks like this left side is actually a little bit different to where I'm probably going to get, I just want to see and make sure. It's probably, I think we'll be able to do the same. So let's go one, two, three rows and four three rows and four and then let's go one more one two three up oh, three and four and cut that down okay perfect all right so you can see that's lining up good right there now what we got is our actual power signal so our power button there, I'm just trying to look through the actual material here just to see where it is. And I'm seeing it's right, looks like about one row up, about four rows in. So I'm gonna go about four rows in, about one row up, 
and it looks like it's about two rows wide. You always want to cut off not quite enough off the start, so you never want to cut off too much off the start. You just want to be careful because you can always cut off more. It's a lot harder to add it. So we go here, and it looks like I need to go at least one more row up here. So I'm going to come up to this one and cut across. Now let's just see how wide I need to go. It looks like one, two, three, four stones wide. So one, two, three, four stones wide. Let's cut that off there. And let's cut down to there. And let's cut that off there. All right, now I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. And that's looking pretty good there. All right, so if I put that there, you can see our power button showing through right there. And let's go ahead and remove, expose the adhesive here and see how we did. So you can see, even though that's actually cut through right there, that's not a problem because it'll just line back up. And then it looks like it's just a hole for where the power button is. So I always want to start wherever stones are just to make sure I avoid any seams. And then we're going to work our way to the right here. Oh my goodness. This was made for this computer. Let me just get this back here. Oh yeah hide this seam as much as we can. So what I'm doing is I'm just actually pulling it together a little bit just to see. Because obviously we want to have our, oh, you can see that we can access our power button because I just hit it. Pull these together. And what I'm doing is I'm just kind of pushing down and pushing it together a little bit just to get a little movement to try and get these stones to move back a tiny bit. And I would say we're looking pretty good right there. All right, so now I think we might be completely done. We could do one thing if you want. It's looking a little bit plain to me. Let's add one row of stones right across the top there. I think that would actually look pretty sweet. So I got a little extra two row right here. I'm just gonna grab it. Let's go one row of stones right across the top right here. So I'm going to expose our adhesive here. And let's go ahead and go right to there, right along this edge. And the cool thing is, is I didn't even have to cut this one before because what I can do is just measure it out because it's only one row cut off the extra two that aren't needed and line it up perfect there push this down a tiny bit it's nice because you can still move it around a little bit before that adhesive gets a good strong bond on it but we are pretty good to go right there so this is our completely, completely rhinestoned out laptop computer. So you can see the entire inside here, fully rhinestoned. Still got your mouse pad perfect. You still have your power button right there perfect. So I can still hit my power button to turn on, power button to turn off, and your seam to where it's gonna close. So when I close this right here, you can see it's still going to close perfect. Complete rhinestones on the top. So this is what we have left over from this project. We have a, not too much, maybe 500, I would say 500 stones or so. So this laptop now has close to around 11,000 stones on it, maybe give or take a few. 
but two bling anything eight by ten sheets did this entire laptop this isn't a huge laptop it's not the smallest laptop in the world either though so it gives you an idea of what you can actually do with an eight by ten sheet of the bling anything so this is your tutorial on the bling anything rhinestone sheets right here that we sell on our website the rhinestoneworld.com but what i do want to do i want to bring this outside for you real quick and show you exactly what it's going to look like outside because this is going to look amazing outside you bring this thing and you go you're doing some work for your business at starbucks or anything outside and doing some work it's going to get everybody's attention in that entire place and if you have a rhinestone business you can say hey i can do this to your computer you can buy this and do it to your own computer i also sell rhinestone shirts and car decals and everything else but let's go show you what this looks like outside all right, so we got our laptop computer outside here. You can see how awesome this looks out in the sun. So pretty sweet. Aaron's going to come in on the video here and kind of show you up close. But you can see we don't really see any seams at all with it, but the amount of bling you get with that sun. And then I'm going to go ahead and open it up here and how awesome this looks even on the inside. So completely rhinestone out laptop with our bling anything sheets. Again, we use just under two sheets of the 8x10 bling anything material. So, again, somewhere around probably 10,000, 11,000 stones on the computer between the outside and the inside here. But you don't have to do the complete inside, just the outside looks great, as you can see. But so it took a little bit longer because of all the different cutting. The outside probably took maybe five minutes to do all of this. And then the inside, because we had to trim around the edges, around the mouse pad, everything else, obviously it took a little bit longer in the video. But if you do have any questions, you can give us a call. The number is 941-755-1696. There's a link right below this video where you can purchase the Bling Anything sheets on our website at rhinestoneworld.com. We have everything you need for your custom apparel and decal business, heat presses, vinyl cutters everything over here at the rhinestone world so come check us out come check the website out check out our youtube channel facebook page a lot of followers there but if you got any questions give us a call this is matt with the rhinestoneworld.com and you guys have a great day